Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to Shenanigans. Uh, this is where you are. I mean, you're not like adjacent to it yet, but you, uh, there's a, there's a keep and you can see it. Maybe I should make this wider so you can get some perspective here. I'm still, still seeing the regular map. Am I supposed to? Uh, yeah, you might want to refresh your browser then. He might be listed as a GM or something. Oh, you Diana. might. That's going to do it. Yeah, in the upper right hand, in the uh, gear settings -y thingy, there's a rejoin as player button. Oh, I can see it now. I hit refresh and it did work. Oh, perfect. What is my token supposed to be? <laughs> a plague knight. Plague doctor. Oh. Got the mask and everything. Yeah. Oh, I found I something it. just for you. <laughs> He has like a top hat. <laughs> well, you know, there's not a lot of plague doctor tokens, all right? You get what you get. Yeah. <laughs> I just find it funny. Yeah, let me just add in some more grass off to the right side. Where are our castle mapper? Is is the map supposed to be that tall? Yes. Okay. Most of it should be in darkness for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is this thing called? What is it? Why can't I see what I'm looking for? Do, do, oh, do, God. Do, do. I'm guessing this is like, this is the outside view, and then you've got like the tower. Multiple inside views, yeah. yeah so if okay. you scroll down, you'll just be able to see more. Well, you can't now because it's disabled, but. Uh, right. Yeah. Which direction is it, Tom? The. Like... Ah! So much grass. It's over fine. everything. It's fine. It's fine. Shh. I mean, just. Well, Neil is broadcasting Colorado. Run away. Mm -hmm. Well, they're happy to let people smoke marijuana, but they don't want to pay their teachers any more money. Uh, here we go. Why don't they just use tax revenues generated by marijuana sales to fund the schools. Because oh, Colorado has tower. really weird tax laws where the changes in tax laws have to be approved by uh, the, a popular vote by the people, not by legislators. And so they can't really like move tax money around very well or any of that weird shit. It's, it's just kind of a, it's an interesting situation. Who's the woman in the green? Which token? Whose token is the woman in the green dress? <laughs> She's That's not big. up on that ledge. That's ridiculous. You guys are all ridiculous. Here, you're back over <laughs> here. Um, so you're standing nearby. You can see the castle in the distance. You can't actually see into it, but you know things are the way they are. In the distance, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so here's your castle and your guide through this town. Uh, what would we call him? We called him Sheriff. Oh, he had an interesting name. Oh. I don't remember his name. Lily something or Lindy something or... I don't know. Sheriff Andy. I think it was the last name of a female actress and I can't think of it now. Anyway, the sheriff is here. Uh, and the sheriff points you towards the keep and says, well, that's probably where his lordship is gone and that's definitely where all the goblins are hiding. Are there any gates or anything? Nope, no gates. Uh, the sheriff will tell you that there, if you go past it on this side, there mm -hmm. is a, a staircase right here that leads yep. inside to the front door. This is a, a, a guarded area out front where people can shoot and fire all sorts of weapons. If you can somehow get up on top of this thingy, there's a door here that can also still be shut. Um, and as you're looking from a good distance away, you can see that the castle is not unmanned. Uh, there are indeed goblins aplenty on it. Uh, there's those goblins right there. There are, what can else can you see? You can see that there's at least one goblin on the roof. Um, there are arrow loops. Could be more goblins inside, but you wouldn't be able to see them because of the, you know, functions of light and distance and all that jazz. So, 
What's the range of your phantasmal force? Uh, near, is there any cover around the keep up to a certain distance? Uh, nope, everything is cut back uh, quite a distance as per good keep making protocol. What, what means quite a distance? A uh, few hundred feet, like let's say 300 feet. I, I asked the sheriff, what what kind of ranged weapons do these goblins use? Bows. Short bows with crappy D4 dealing arrows. Mm. Perhaps if we were to take a wagon and use that as cover and roll the wagon ahead of us, soaking up the arrows... As I it feel like improvised uh, gallery. I can mantle it, yes. And perhaps your you guys would just stick your heads above the mic and create something like the sheriff riding on a wyvern, and it could fly around in the air and draw their attention up and, and arrows upwards and away from us. That wouldn't be very plausible now, would it? If we if we can get if we can get in within sixty yards, I can obscure their vision. Perhaps if they are expecting this the next five feet. All of their defenses will be at that door, but it looks like there's a tower uh, that does not have any windows on it on the other side, and then if we went there and tossed up a a uh, grapno with a rope and then we could climb the walls and that could be obscured so they could not shoot arrows at us how do you do that thing where you like can map your movement uh, as you you're dragging it? your token press the space bar and kind of tap it at each Q point oh Did that work for you uh, I must have so many thinkings now that I do not have the strong body. God. Yep, that's how you do it. All right, never mind. Use so, space while right. still holding the mouse. Yeah, while dragging, you want to tap the space bar occasionally. Yeah. How are we going to build this mantlet? So, Neil, do, would we have materials to build like an uh, oh, wow. improvisational mantlet? Which is like these medieval siege shields that I can push forward. You do not have any materials to build siege weapons. You've like just not showed it. up at this castle. You've got not like some food in a wagon. Yes. And like the local populace is terrified of you. If you want to start constructing siege weapons. Not not a weapon, not near, not a weapon, but can we use the cart in some way to use it as a mantlet? Um, a mantlet? Yeah. Mantlet. It's. Let me. It's. Uh, we could it, take the wagon, and then we could yeah. take the recently built platform that the execution was going to be built on, and then and we take the platform and we put that on the wagon. Except we have kind of a platform, we make it into a wall, and then we push the wagon hidden from the arrows by the wall of their own execution, making it. The height of irony. Let's say we just push the wagon and try to hide behind Neil, it. How high? How high is this? That's ten feet. Okay, so we have someone who can just poke their head above it. Yep, yep. The ogre would look above that. If he stood at it, it would come up to his neck. His head would fit between those um, <laughs> the raised thingies. Rob, what are those called? Right. The raised so we've got like a minotaur and an ogre, both of which they can just climb up there mm -hmm. because they can just like grab onto yeah. the ledge. You could just, uh, you know, we charge. We can just put you up there, you know, uh, grab you and put you up there. Once we get there, of course. That you could. You could just. That's too bad. Uh, it's, it's so so. Yeah, and then, and then as humans, we can stand on the wagon yeah, to get okay. the height. What did uh, Max say? 
use the phantasmal force to obscure the vision so we can get to that uh, platform. And then uh, we'll we have find to get the platform. 60 feet. Right, so, um, yeah, my shield spell cannot take all the arrows, I'm afraid. So but I will walk behind you then. You are a bit, you are a bit taller than me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know how much my shield spell can take, but depends how many use of the them. Use the wagon there are. to take up the arrows, and then use the wagon to climb the wall. Basically, yeah, can, uh, pushing the van, wagon like a one of us. Yeah, it would have the dual functionality. Yeah. Uh, All right, so you're gonna take Doreen the platform is going to unhook the donkey. Grab the wagon and just start pushing. All right, so Doreen's just going to push the wagon and stand behind it. Why do we not put the empty barrels yep. in the wagon to build it up so there's more to, the, without adding much weight, to take the arrows so they do not hit the people's pushing the wagons? That is a smart thought. Let's do that. Okay, fine. Hey, putting barrels on the okay. wagon eel and then. What barrels are these? Just like you have barrels? Any barrels. It's a town. They must have an inn. Okay, so you like go into the town and start raiding bits of pieces of I mean, wood and everything that you need. I'm going to ask the freaking sheriff. Sure, I mean, sure. I just I want to be I want to understand what's going on. I want to make sure that I'm not you didn't have barrels with you that I was unaware of to begin oh, with. No. I mean, we can I'm pay for like whatever rain barrels they have in town. Just pour out the rain and we've got barrels. Sure. Yep, reduce their fire safety. That's fine. Uh, yes. you, you pour out the rain barrels, you, you grab bits of wood wherever you need to, you stack them in the wagon. It's not really going to provide any cover, significant cover, to uh, Vignar. It'll provide some cover for Zunk and Rushbutt, but Karasu, Doreen, and Sildin should all be able to hang out behind it fairly well. Mm -hmm. uh, Karasu, you, you're not super tall, right? I'm seven feet, but... Okay, so you also will right. only have my, but, some cover from it. But I'm I'm Mongerman. I can also like crouch down really good. Uh, sure, my... you you can crouch down absolutely. But you're also seven feet tall, so you're not gonna get as good of cover from it than the shorter people are. You know. Right. Doreen is just like four foot ten, so I'm pretty <laughs> sure like they can't see me. Mm hmm. So. Right. We're going with that. So you push the wagon towards the fort. Yep. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually going to be pushing and uh, Karasu can be behind me. So I cast the shield spell and then we move forward. So you have a little bit more protection with the wagon. Okay. Uh, the goblins are still going to open fire at the yeah. obvious easy to hit target, which is the 12 foot tall ogre who definitely can get like half cover from this wagon, but not great cover. Which is uh, still, for him, it's good. <laughs> yeah, half cover is what? Plus five, five to AC? I think so. I think is they it? cut hit yeah, that gives four. me 22. Four to AC, yeah. Four, that gives me 21. All right. <laughs> so our it. goblins will, it's 300 Thanks. feet. How fast can you push a wagon? We have over. We have two people with 18 strength. Right. It's not so much a matter of strength. It's a matter of like keeping everyone together and moving yeah. together behind cover. Um, like, it's not a speed thing. It's a unity thing. Like two thirds or half, maybe. Yeah. Six, maybe. Uh, so 60 yards and around. Sounds right. Uh, so it'll take you two rounds, basically. So two rounds of enemy fire on you, and then you're at the castle walls. Okay. Uh, run around before possible. you can cast Phantasmal Force, right? Yeah. Uh, once we are within 60 feet, probably after one round, right? Uh, no, one round will get you 180 feet of the 300. You'll still be 120 out. Okay. But you uh, can still make a wall close enough so that it still provides cover, right? Yeah. Just let's sure. go. Yep, you guys are going. Uh, I'm just figuring out where the enemy archers are. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six archers that will fire on the first round. Um, and that is 12 shots total. And they're all taking them at the ogre because oh, it's the only one that can be seen. Uh, the first take, six are all misses. It's like a natural to the hit. They have to like, yeah, natural 20, I think. Uh, we have a 
single 19, but I think your AC is 21, right? 21, yes. Yep. And they have long range or something. So. Yeah, they're at range Mission too. Range. They're, yeah, so they're all misses. The the arrows fall around you. They they hit the the boards and the wagon in front of you, springing small leaks in the the water barrels that weren't fully emptied. Uh, and the team pushes forward. Second round of fire. This this is a new experience for Vignar. It is actually to his advantage to be small. If I was large as I normally am, then perhaps they would have been firing the arrows at me. <laughs> And now all the natural trainees come in. Uh, good job, Wigner. <laughs> all right, just getting creatures in positions. The... Who would have thought there could be an advantage to being small? Do, 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 do. You're, you're, you're actually using your brain powers to deflect the missiles. All right, <laughs> this time we have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All of the missile goblins are on this side of the tower now. Spent last round moving. And they will fire up to 20 shots at you. You know what? I'm just gonna, this is gonna be easier. Yeah, please just do it in roll 20. <laughs> yeah, hit somewhere. No, zero no, hits. 20s. <laughs> uh, but that w whole wagon area is just like peppered with arrows that <laughs> fall against it and clatter into the ground around you and maybe like probably a few of them actually strike you but they're like faint weak hits that don't even penetrate your thick ogre hide anything that is a uh, 16 or higher would hit you and do no damage so all they can really see is his face. He's just got like a thick face that's just been, like peppered with arrows. Thank goodness they cannot hit me. <laughs> He's yes. getting peppered by like five. They're minutes. like on his yeah, just all over the place. So God. the party. All right. <laughs> You're tent. here now. Okay. Once I'm here, I will. Oh no, I cannot cast because I moved. So. Right. Um, can we roll initiative now? Or what? We should roll initiative. There are a lot of monsters. Well, hold on. We had enough movement to like get up straight next to the wall, right? Yes. Uh, I was just trying to find you a wagon token, but when okay. I search for wagon, I'm getting like. I don't understand. I'm getting uh, weird cost? results. Are we, are we by the wall? Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably ditch the cart though, as soon as we get super close and then just i mean uh yeah if you look for a cart uh search for cart maybe yeah uh, there are carts but there's never anything that i really like mm. it's, it's always you know, crap you no know, are they are they where we can see them or are they have they moved around you just haven't moved them around yet <laughs> here you guys go <laughs> <laughs> you have cover you've pushed there. the cart up to the wall <laughs> jesus i'm satisfied Okay, good. I think no, everyone is. So are, the goblin, are the goblins like actually where we see them on the map right now? Yes, they are. And Get we me should. On the wall. They. We should roll for initiative. Okay. I'm gonna split the goblins into four groups: two missile and two melee, uh, and that way it'll be easier to keep track of everything. Man, be I keep doing 15. The goblins will target you as the strongest and most obvious target. Okay, the first creature to go is going to go out of five. Uh, so it looks like Sildan is going to beat it, followed by Rob. Rob? Or Sildan? Oh, Casting Rob. sleep right there. Wonderful. Um, um, roll me some, what is it? D6s? Two, D4s? Two, D4, I think. Go for it. it it'll... There we go. <laughs> so you will put to sleep four goblins, uh, and you said it was like this distance? Uh, yeah. So and it's 30, 30 feet across or 30 anything, feet radius? It has to be within 30 feet of each other. So I'm casting it so that the middle is like uh, at the middle of the like 15 feet from that goblin that your line is on, sure. basically. It's like this. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah perfect. So you yeah. put four goblins to sleep. 
and uh, I kind of say that I do the spell and everything, and at the, at the end I say abracadabra. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, the goblins, four goblins fall asleep. Next up is Rob, the ogre. Put me on the wall. Ah, we are each learning the things. It appears that Sildan has now learned to be a spell sword. Yes. <laughs> Perhaps. I think my memories I are coming back. Do something from his body as well with my own skills. Uh, so can we just basically like stand on the cart and climb over the wall? You could probably do it without even. <laughs> yeah, for you. Yeah, I guess you can just climb over. No, in my old body I could have, but now I must stand on the cart. Yeah, I'm. Uh, look, the cart is up. probably like five feet high. The walls like ten, 10 feet, feet high. Yeah. We can probably just the cart climb is up definitely over not five feet tall. Well, when you the load barrels, a cart, you're not load loading things to like your shit. head height. No, uh, maybe with, with some barrels, barrels on top of it. On there? But yeah. as we said before, remember this is a two-wheeled cart, right? So it's not particularly no, it's a stable. Cart. This is the four-wheeled cart that you bought. Okay, yeah, that might be more stable. Four-wheeled. Yeah, we were yeah. imagining like a wagon. We weren't taking Yeah, a big cart. wagon, not a little okay. push cart. Well, you've had a lot of carts, and it can be hard really? to remember which ones are yeah. which. <laughs> All right, well, well, it, down. it was the big wagon you turned into a mimic, so. So this isn't a big wagon then? I bought another big wagon, another made sure this wagon. one wasn't a mimic. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Perfect. I thought we were just going to grab a wagon from town, but yeah, whatever. All right, oh, okay, uh, look. it's Anyways, yeah. I climb on Whoa. the cart. I, I use the cart as a step stool to go over onto the top. You have made Standing it onto the wall. On the there goblin. is a sleeping goblin and two non-sleeping goblins. There's nowhere you can't stand on a gulp. Hit the yeah, so I, I like stomp on their necks with my feet. Give oh, me geez. attack rolls or something. Well, it against sleeping creatures can't you just do oh, well, there's, there's, yeah drama. there's one sleeping goblin you can totally just go step on his neck that's fine yeah <laughs> all right that is now a dead goblin <laughs> okay yep. good uh and next goes the first group of melee goblins uh this guy's gonna shut that door this one's gonna come over here and freak out because his buddies are sleeping and so he's gonna just run around and kick him a bit uh, and move over here. And that is it for their turn. The second group of melee warriors. Um, there's one on top of the wall, right above this guy. And so he he's like, you know, many stories up. So he's gonna take one of the big rocks that they've got there and try and chuck it onto the ogre down below. Um, but with a three, it's a dramatic miss to the side. It just a, a very large rock clumps and lands heavily between the ogre and the goblin. I, uh, I just imagine this little goblin pulls the rock, expects it to like fall six feet forward onto the ogre. It just like falls straight down. <laughs> yeah. Onto the other goblin. <laughs> just barely missing the other goblin. It's on the dead goblin. <laughs> Uh, these three guys are gonna run downstairs, run downstairs, run downstairs, and here. And show up over here. And it is... I've already lost my dice for their other initiatives. I don't know what they are. Let's re-roll. Uh, the missile people go to 11 and, uh, 16. So, next in the initiative order is Zunk and Rushbutt. All right, um... So I say to the others, who wants to go up first? <laughs> I'll, I'll climb over the wagon on my turn. And but can if you, you actually climb up on there. the wagon and get up there? Or is, is that high enough for you? Because then I'll help you get up there. If you want to help me get up there, sure. Yeah, if, if, I, if it seems like they're incapable to get up there alone, I'll help them, Neil. Okay. But they will need my, your help. My okay. initiative should be nine. I made a mistake there. Sure. Uh, who are you helping up first? Whoever is coming up to me first. <laughs> me. Uh, looks like you. Whoop. You hop up there and you're over All here. Right. Now I want to look. Who's this? That's uh, Goblin. Just... Okay. Actually, that door is shut now. You shouldn't Wait, be able right. to see through that. That was what Personal, he did for I his turn. I should have had to go before you because you had 15. Yeah, we're not. We're nowhere near no, 15 no, he, yet. He put me on the wall. Yes. 
Oh, but okay. it's not your turn yet. Right. I, ca right. I can't do anything. Right. So Zunk and Rushbutts puts you on the wall. Karasu goes at eight. Nine. Nine. Sorry. Um, I will just climb the wall with my 85% climb walls. <laughs> Wonderful. Like, I, I Give me a D100. You make it up the wall. Just the barely, though. <laughs> wow. Just barely. Can I attack my stiletto? There's one goblin, right? Um, There's one, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's a 10-foot wall. You climb it, like, half pace. That's, yeah, whatever. It's fine. You can climb it in and make an attack. This Kane's stiletto comes out, and does he wear any, is he wearing any armor? Yes, leather. AC 13. Okay. Then I get a plus two bonus. That's... <laughs> you hit the goblin. You clear by five. And that's... That's four points of damage. The goblin dies. <laughs> if that was a crit, there would be more damage, but yeah. So uh, dead. Yes. That's fine. Uh, next up is the first round of missile weapons, which includes this poor and little guy right here. Hi, friend. Uh, and this poor little guy is... He's going to disengage and run away. He jumps off the wall. Yep, he disengages, lowers himself off the wall, and goes this way and just flees. Ah! Alrighty then. He's just gone. Uh, on the inside... Nope, wait, we still have five, four other goblins that can shoot, shoot at you. Three other goblins that can shoot at you. Four other goblins that can shoot at you. So let's see, we have a, the highest roll here is a 16, which is coming for a Plague Doctor Boy. Yep, that will hit. All right, you will take a whopping D4 damage. You take one, it's amazing. Uh, a yeah. goblin arrow hits you in the inside of your left thigh. Uh, One spot for an arrow, yeah. My left thigh, which is the other thigh. Basically... Yeah, it's very uncomfortable, but not really murdersome. But uncomfortable. Yeah. Strongly. Please. Thank goodness it wasn't the knee. Yeah. Doreen, it is your turn. Okay, so this door right here is closed then? Uh, correct. As the goblins were waking people up, they shut that door. Hello, goblins. All right, I'm, I'm going to attempt to bash in the door or open it if it just has a handle. Uh, it does have a handle. It doesn't open, does it? No, it does not. You can try okay. an open doors check, though. Okay. So, do I need to roll over or under my number? Uh, under. Oh. So, you need to roll under. You have 18 100 strength? Nope, but I rolled a four. I have well, no, wait, hold on. What is your strength? Because it is a barred door, it's not just a shut and locked door. 18 87. So you, the number in parentheses is what you need to low roll lower than. So you are one too high. You cannot really? bash down the barred door. Yeah, it's got like a big metal, it's a, it's a keep. Yeah, it was a big, uh, not metal, wooden uh, bar that comes down behind it to lock it into the, the frame itself. So you slam into it. The door shivers and shakes, but does not break. All right, then I'll just move over here. Okay, the remaining archers will take their shots. Uh, we'll do one at the Plague Doctor, which is a four, one at the Ogre, which is a nine, one at the Minotaur, which is an 11, and a second one at the Minotaur, which is a 12. I think those are all misses. And we go to next round initiative. Uh, there we go. Six, six, eight. I think we're missing one initiative roll, two initiative rolls. And one initi two initiative, I can count. Six, 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 eight. Six, eight. six, six, eight, nine. Uh, well, Next. you guys all, no, the sixes all go first. Okay, I will ask for help up, I guess. <laughs> okay, I'll be there at eight. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, the rest I, of the sixes? I turn towards uh, Vigna. Well, it seems it's time to use your brain powers to open that door. Yes, I... I saw from... from Silden that, that he 
was able to use his brain muscle even though he was in my body. Perhaps I can use Vignar muscles even though I'm in this weak human body. And I'm gonna charge and body slam the door. Okay, now let's talk size of fortress doors here. Uh, you could still try to smash it open, but yeah. absolutely, absolutely. I'm just trying to uh, figure what out. What are you talking about, Neil? He's just the size of a normal person. He's absolutely not the size of a normal person. <laughs> This is the the well protected small door at the top of the wall. Um, you're twelve feet tall, did you say? Eleven. Eleven. Okay, that's a little bit better because the door is maybe like six feet, six and a half feet at most tall. It's a He'd small door. You probably open it by kneeing it. Yeah. Go ahead and give me your check, but I want to give you a slight penalty. Give me like a, a penalty of two to your roll because it's a awkwardly sized door for a person of your size. Okay. What am I rolling? D100, actually, it's good. Sorry, D20 plus two. And what is your strength? 1806. Oh, you've got like zero chance of opening it, yeah. Like literally zero. You'd need 18 91 strength to even have a chance. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess so you, you just climb the building then. You just kick at the door, but it's it's a well barred door. You know, it's a well, fortress actually, door. How, how high is the next story up from this one? Let's see. The next floor is, it's, you know, it floors every 10 feet. The next floor has a bunch of windows on it, three windows above this this area that you are right now. Um, and then the see the that ceiling or the, the floor above that would be the first section of wall, um, but the castle still rises a little bit above that. So how should I say? Um, this thing that I'm about to mark right here, do you see this? This the creates, a, yeah, yeah, yeah the, the the line will create a like a flat area, um, two stories up, and then this over here is another tower that rises even farther above. So mm -hmm. from here, there's 10, 20 feet until the the wall, and then another twenty feet to the the, the toppest wall of the wall. Does that make Hope sense? Have... Am I clear? So I'd have to climb 40 feet to just climb the wall? You'd have to climb 20 feet to get to the first area where you can stand and another 20 feet to get to the next area where you can stand, if that makes sense. So the top of it's 50 feet above where we are, or 40 feet above where we are? Mm -hmm. Yes, this, this tur tower is 40 feet above you. And then this is like a flat area 20 feet above you. So I could climb up to the 20 feet above. Yeah, there's a goblin up there with a bow, and that's where the guy with the rock was. All right, uh, what will it take to do that? Roll me a D100. That's what it'll take. Well, like, what is the percentage chance? Is it undoable unless you're a rogue? No, it's pretty good, because you're 12 feet tall. If you're 12 feet tall, your arm would reach to, or you're 11, sorry. So your arm would reach to about 16 feet ish. You could jump. Yeah, yeah, he could pretty much feet. just grab a window and then hoist his other arm up to the- In fact, yeah, leg. you can grab the window above you. Uh, just like, 95% chance. He's his head in the window You're, above you're freaking okay. huge, man. The, you could easily could make just, this. 95% chance. You could just jump. All right, and and I also have the jumping proficiency. Oh, oh, Jesus. I could just, like, jump up and grab onto the top of his. Just, just roll me a D100 and you'll make it up there and don't, right. don't cock <laughs> it up. Or a D20 <laughs> and don't roll a one. You know. Just, it, just do the thing. Just do the thing. <laughs> do the thing, Rob. All right. You easily grab hold of the wall and find yourself two stories up. Uh, you're going to have to scroll down to see oh, where you are now. Do you see yourself uh, yes. a little bit lower? Okay. So you have I, I scaled shot. a wall uh, and there are a pair of goblins there. I, I shout up, hey, can you throw a rope down? I will follow him. Can I follow well, I also, him? Also, can I just like grab the goblins and try to toss them off? Yes. Attack too? Yes. Go ahead and make me a grab attack. It will give the goblin opportunity attack against you because he's got that spear. 
I, um, I took martial arts proficiency A for my unarmed specialty. Does that make no yeah. opportunity attacks against? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's just treated as a weapon. I don't provoke opportunity. All right, go ahead and grab the goblin. While he's doing that, I'm also climbing up to the next Sure. Story. Also, if my other yeah. arm yeah. is open, then I can use that so I can actually make two attacks. Wonderful. Uh, Karasu, you'll get up there, but let's have Rob finish his actions first. Yeah. You grab a goblin, and you grab a second goblin, and you throw them both off. <laughs> Roll me 2d6 for their falling damage. Yeah, two, two, please. Actually, wouldn't it be 3d6 if he, unless he's throwing them onto this platform? Uh, I assume that's the easiest place to toss them, so that's where they'll land. <laughs> I like see two goblins fall next. Oh god. One of them does the Wilhelm <laughs> scream as a pulse. Oh god. Uh, two goblins Black. fall from the sky, landing <laughs> here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dead. Uh, they, no, actually, the first one lives. Oh my oh, god. Geez. The okay. second one is splattered beyond all recognition. Uh, I don't know, see if you can. I don't know if you can see how far that HP bar goes into the <laughs> negative, but it's pretty far. <laughs> I go, it's raining goblins. Yes. I'm guessing yeah, I'm not getting hands from that one. Did he have one HP? <laughs> Two. <laughs> uh, Karasu, you also climb the wall. And you're going to have to scroll okay. down as well to find yourself. And you pop up um, way down here. Neil, that moved all of us. I know it did. Deal with it. God damn it. I imagine that I'm like using my cane to help myself climbing. <laughs> like you have like a hook at end. Like once I see the uh, top, I like use the cane to. Sure, sure. To pull my up. Uh, the goblin's turns. I've lost all of my initiative dice by now. <laughs> it was ranged goblins. That's what it was. It was ranged goblins that were next. Uh, so this one can't really see anything. Oh, no, you can still totally see that Minotaur, yeah. So that's a shot at the Minotaur with a 12. Yes. Uh, those two, in fact, they're all going to shoot at the Minotaur. Wow. Uh, a 7, a 16, and a 9. They all miss. 16 is a miss? Yeah, against shield is 17 AC against hurled missiles. No, I mean, not hurled missiles. shield. Okay. Good yeah. call. Where are those archers, Neil? On the top tower? Uh, they're below you. There are floor. Oh. Two of them are below you. One of them is in the tower next to you. Um, I don't know. They're, they're arrows from all over the place. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Melee goblins will hold the door. This one just fell 20 feet, landed on stone, gets up. <laughs> Makes a morale check. <laughs> uh, and flees. Just bolts off that way. That one's Does gone. Does he bolt? I can't get an attack of opportunity. You were not within see. melee range of him, unfortunately. Yeah, right. uh, and the next group of archers. Well, We haven't gotten to eight yet. No, we've not gotten to eight yet. Uh, no, we did. No, you, we should be at eight right now. Yes. Okay, so he can help me up then. Zunk can rush, but helps you up, yes. and then can climb up himself if he so desires. Yes, I desire. And how um, are they? Sh how are they shooting at us? They're above us or something? Yes, there yeah. are multiple floors, and there's arrow loops, and they're shooting out of them and off the <laughs> the roof. No, we let we stand there to the left, right? Like if we stand here. You could stand there if you want to stand there. If like I mean like the the archers that are from this direction above wouldn't see us. Probably not. Well, yeah. Okay. 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 Um, uh, I guess I just. I mean, I guess I ready a dart attack. I don't know if I can see anything. Uh, I don't think you can see anything. Those arrow yeah. loops provide fantastic coverage. Uh, okay, so this guy's gonna come to here. And that'll be the end of that round. Let's roll initiative for the next round. And uh, Neil, is there a door into that tower to the right of us there? No, that oh, is not a door to the tower. Nope. Okay. Oh, but uh, I see that there's some kind of platform here. Right? Yes, in front of you, you can see 
there's a thing you'll have to explore. Mm. Uh, 12, 12, 5. The goblins will go. Those are plus uh, sixes yeah, on I have all of those. Kasu and uh, Vic Victor on the same initiative, multiple rounds now. <laughs> All right, Vignar. Wait, wait, and I Karasu. never got to go last round. I was you didn't? at nine. I'm sorry. Somehow we skipped you. It's your take your action. I'm gonna come over here. I'm not gonna bother rotating and I'm gonna try to break the door again. Okay. Nope. You fail. Uh, that is an action. If you're gonna stand there and break the door, it is a full round action to do. You can't like break the door, full run round. away, and break the door and run away. That's not how breaking a door works. It's not like one attempt yeah. back away. <laughs> oh, my turn's up again. Run over, break, and then run away. Like you're you're breaking <laughs> right. the door. You're trying to kick it down. You're standing there. It's your. Then if I realize there's just like a bunch of goblins from this way, and I know there's a door like over here somewhere, I'm probably just gonna go break that door. Okay. <laughs> Oh, breaking all the doors. <laughs> yeah. Well, less less arrow shooties. Yeah. You know. Uh, okay. So what do we have? Fives for initiative. We've got the the monstrous people on the second store, third story. Um, you got the same time. I will, I will move over here. Okay. There's no. Okay. Nothing nope. there. There is a a ladder that goes up though. Oh, okay, that's a ladder. That goes up only. Mm -hmm. Where to? It oh, goes up. Oh, is this a tower? Oh, it's a, it's a tower. I mean, it's up for you to decide what a thing is or isn't. No one can tell you anything but yourself. Uh, but there's a, t yeah. a ladder there. Neil, is this thing a tower? Yeah, of <laughs> course it's a tower. Look, yeah, it's a, it's a tower. It goes up. You just, like, <laughs> run over the roof and bypass going through the tower? No, I just want to see what this is there. Um, you mean this thing right here? Yeah. That's kind of a, a weird, slopey, roofy thingy. It might not, it's not designed to hold people, but you could probably walk across it. But it's definitely not designed to be walked on. You know, it's like your dad shouting at you to get off the roof because you're going to hurt it because it's not meant to be walked on. It's not good for the castle's integrity. Okay, I'm going to move over here. Okay. You make it over there. Rob, did you have an action? Yes. Now, I want to quote that you just explained how you shouldn't walk on the roof because it can damage the integrity. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It's a real thing. All right. So <laughs> I shout out. Make way for Vignar's mighty brains. And I'm just going to try to jump up and just slam into the roof and try to like break through yes. the roof into the floor below. Yes! <laughs> Vignar falls through the roof. Ah! You are ah, here now. That was right. Uh, but you fall 10 feet and so you take D6 falling damage. You, you take I one. Only if I take over 10, fall over 10 feet. Well, you jumped up and fell. All right. You, you take one point of falling damage as you land on a, a splinter okay. that penter, uh, a, a large splinter and nail that goes into your foot. But you do find yourself next to some goblins, conveniently. Do that. Yeah. He takes <laughs> uh, You, you, you still have a lot of your about? movement and your action left if you want. All right, I want to try to grab the two goblins and smash their heads together. <laughs> Wonderful. Please go ahead and make me regular tax at minus two because your head is still like at roof level and the goblins are down at like knee level. So you have to like squat in here and reach around and grab them and you grab both the goblins together. <laughs> All right, and I just try to smack, slam their heads together. You Hercules them together. One more attack roll to see if bringing them together will work. Like a, a true hero here. Do I need to have the minus two on this? No, one? no, just a, a regular attack roll. Ah. Oh! You go to slam them together, and I think I you, in, in trying to do so, you're like repositioning yourself, and you like slam your head into one of the beams above you as you're like trying to duck down to see where to hit oh. them, and in all the like dazing pain of slamming your forehead on the the, the, the ceiling, uh, you let go of the goblins. Ah. 
Do my they swelling fall? brain muscle has made my head so big that this human head strikes the ceiling. <laughs> but do they fall like 10 feet from me? No, like... they don't. She was not holding them at head height. <laughs> um, <laughs> next up is eight, Doreen. Away? No, no, no. It's not their turn yet. Okay. All Doreen, right. it's your turn. Can I come over here? Sure. Lower myself down. Sure. Come over to the door. Yep. Attempt to break. Sure. All right, good. Oh, and nope. initiative again. Oh, close. Definitely not. not. <laughs> nope. You need not a three. Not quite. Uh, you run up the stairs and go to burst down the door, and it's just like all this running and all this climbing and pushing of carts and everything. Like this is this is a different lifestyle than you were prepared for. Uh, and the, yeah. the door just stands there. Yeah. I think at this point, I'm just going to, instead of just trying to... Eh, probably can't just break the door with a mace. It would take a while. This yeah, is a keep. Yep. It would take a minute. Okay, so Goblin Archer's turn. Uh, there are no archers here. Oh, here we go. Here's one archer. Uh, Doreen, see that little white thingy right above you? This little weird, uh, this is an arrow loop, and the goblin pops out and takes a shot at you from it with a five to hit, and then, you know, quickly ducks behind the, the side and if begins to recover. If you can see me, can I climb to that arrow loop? No, it is not climb throughable. That would be very bad All castle right, so design. So he was, like, standing, like, in that little tight space, aiming directly down somehow? So, well, no, no, he's all at level with you. Uh, maybe just a few feet above you. Uh, yeah, and it is a slanted arrow loop designed to shoot at people who are standing on this step, right? right? And so it's like narrow at the front towards you and it opens up wide back where he is so you can kind of have a, a range of angles and lean forward and attack and then easily step back and be it's hidden. Like, well, like I still think yeah. getting one attack from here is better than getting a, like multiple attacks from the people on the roof over here. Totally, yeah. That's, <laughs> so. That is many lesser attacks, so that's better. Uh, this guy will pop over. He'll come around here to hear what the hell is going on, because, you know, ogre sounds. Uh, and a goblin pops up behind you and shoots you in the back. Goes to shoot you in the back with a 15 to hit. Uh, 17 with back attack. He gets one little arrow right between your shoulder blades for four points of damage. Vignar. Ah! <laughs> <My> back! <laughs> yes. Uh, three. These melee guys, there's goblins shouting. They're down here. They're going to stay my here. Spine back there. No! Um, but we'll take the three of you and we'll come up here. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Next in the initiative order, Doreen already went. Who goes after Doreen? Zunkin and Sildan together. Okay, so I have in my character sheet a grappling hook. Can I use that to sure. get up? Uh, Absolutely. So, so do I have to throw it? Like, do a check? Uh, yeah, tackle. you'll need some sort of check to get it thrown up to the right place. How does it say it works in the... Just make me an attack roll against the wall, AC 10. Missile attack roll, yeah. Attack roll is not great. No, you throw it up and you can't get it to hook. It just slides right back off and lands next to you. Can I can I pick it up and try for again, like sure. as my action? Well, no, I think only one person can interact with one grappling hook per round. You can't have fifty people and each one of them throw the same grappling hook. You know, okay. I feel like they each I each hook is a person because it's one minute and it goes all at the same time. So. Yeah. I can't really use this one grappling hook when one person throwing it. Right, right, right. You uh, can try I, next round. Well, I have okay. nothing else to do, so I'll just hold my action to do that next round. Cool. You oh, have this a... is why we needed a knock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next round initiative. I'm just going to... Uh, yeah. Question, what is the situation with casting and moving? Is it like half your movement and... Half move and cast is fine. Okay. Since I'm holding my action, do I just do it now? Sure. You can do it at the start of the round. That's fine. 
So it's just an attack with like dex, or if I have it or whatever. Yep, yep, just a regular missile attack. Okay. There you go. That'll hook onto the the roof twenty feet above you. Uh, can I climb it? I guess you can. Yep, that'll be. You'll just go at the start of the round. This round, then, and that'll be your turn. Okay. Is scaling the wall, getting to the roof. You are this person, right? Yeah. Okay, so you end up down here. Uh, oh God, Neil! You can scroll. <laughs> you have that power. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. Uh, so you s toss the hook, climb up, and you're now on the wall. Okay. Is that my turn, or you have a little movement left? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that's you fine. could just jump through the Vignar-shaped hole in the ceiling. Oh yeah, that's so there's true. A, there's there, a hole, right? Well, there's a hole, but Vignar's taking it up, right? He's oh, right, right, right. it's Vignar-sized, and his head and shoulders are still through it. Oh, uh, okay. Well, maybe just his uh, head. Okay. Um, I guess I'll yeah, I just go. I'll just go around. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, first in the initiative order is Doreen. Doreen tries to burst down the door once more, but it holds solid despite her powerful muscles. Next in the initiative order is Karasu. Okay. Move in here. And, oh, what's this? Karasu. And I color spray the two goblins standing there. Ooh. Uh, have, other saves? They have... Yes, they have that. lower than the hit dice, which is, I think goblins have. They do. So, oh, I have to roll d6, of course, to see how many I affect. Oh, no, that is a, 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 <laughs> <That's> a d16. <laughs> yeah, um, I think. You, you hit both goblins and they fall unconscious immediately. And I achieve my stat. <laughs> That's how excellent. Really uh, that's Karasu at seven. Uh, Zunkin Rushbutt, you go at ten. Oh, by the way, is there a ladder in here somewhere? A ladder? Yeah, ladder. No, in there's there. no ladder, but you did yeah, just walk past two staircases. Uh, okay. I shall oh, up green. Uh, get, get back up here. Uh, I, I reach out my hand. Just swing uh, the rope to me. I swing the rope to him while I climb up, if it's possible, or is You it... can climb. You're going to have to move the rope. It would be a very awkward angle can for I, you just to swing the rope. The rope that, not that's fine. Up, so it will dangle down here and goes, go up. Yeah. Up. So you climb up. You're now... Oh, God, it didn't work. Good. It didn't work. Oh, you got stuck against the vision wall. All right. You climb up to over here, uh, and you can drop the rope down... Uh, I would probably say dropping it here would be nice for Doreen. All right, yeah, that's because yeah. no no she's over here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that looks nice. Perfect. Uh, uh, can I move further? Yes, you can. Uh, by the way, okay. Nia, um, don't forget the 2 Over oh. down here, and I think that's my time for now. Cool. The 2d4 what? Uh, for the unconscious goblins, the time. How, how many rounds they are yeah. unconscious? I'm sure that'll play into a factor soon. <laughs> I'm sure they will not be dead before that runs out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, coming down the stairs near Karasu uh, is ah. a goblin who pops down the stairs, sees you, takes a shot, 18 to hit. Yeah, that hits. One point of damage, and then <laughs> keeps running down the stairs. <laughs> to a different level. He's like, is he like, ah, crap? <laughs> yep. Uh, down, now... Now for the big battle. There are many goblins all around uh, our Vignar's feet. These guys drop their bows. Whoops, sorry, Vignar, I'm not trying to move you around. Drop their bows, pull out daggers, and set upon your toes with them. <laughs> uh, trying to stab your toes. That seems very uncomfortable. Yes, but a four and an eight aren't going to hit. The goblin behind you will take his two shots with a one and a three, even with a plus two to hit, are somehow misses against the great Vignar. Um, <laughs> oh, oh my leg hits, but they just bounce off. Yep. Coming in yep. from behind you is another melee wielding goblin with a five to hit. Actually, plus two for back attack brings that to seven. 
Uh, it's still not gonna do any good. This one will also appear and hurl a spear at you with a 15 to hit. That'll do it. Uh, 17 with the back attack. For five points of damage, Vignar, as a spear hits you in the back as well. Mm. Oh no. It's getting bad. But you're alive. <laughs> you're standing still. He's an yes. Ogre. Okay. This one goes here. Um, on the inside. I think they hear commotion from above. And we'll move like this. Oh, God. That was five goblins, I think. Six, maybe. There are many goblins. Uh, and we're... Wow, we're almost out of archers. You can end your turn there. You guys can do this. Goblins are size small. We can probably fit more goblins in these spaces than these tokens would let Actually, us believe. And I think only if they're tiny. Because dwarves are dwarves are small, but only fit in one. There we square. go. Perfect. Uh, and that is that round of initiative. Is everyone done? Did everyone go? Hmm. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's looking pretty bad for at least Vignar. The rest of you seem to be doing very well. Let's roll initiative. Ooh, they got bad. They go at 12 and 13. I think we all go first. <laughs> yeah, except for the one person who hasn't rolled initiative yet. Vignar. Vignar. Great and terrible. Oh. All right. The whole party gets their actions. OK. I suppose I can just coup de grace. I'm going to kill. Yes, you can kill one if you'd like. I kill that one. And... I'm going to climb the rope. You climb the rope. You can have uh, this one if you want. If I, if I like peek around this, like kind of go around the, you know, That's stairway. That's staircase right there. Oh, the other one's okay. a down staircase. Okay, down then. Uh, yeah. What do I see? Uh, you pop around that staircase mm -hmm. and pop into that. You're coming down the staircase and you see four goblins waiting for you with spears and swords drawn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everybody takes a look into his room where it's just this plague doctor dude looming over a goblin or stabbing him to death. Uh, is it still possible for me to back up? Yep, you can nope right the hell out of there. Uh, so I'll go up and I'll just ready a dart then. <laughs> okay, you're over there now. Uh, who's next? I'm on five, am I next? Sure, I mean, yes, you guys you all go one. first. I don't care what the order is at this point. All right, what's in this room that I'm in? Ooh, so this is a brand new keep. It's not even furnished yet. It's just the defensive structure set up uh, and nothing else. So there's goblins and there's some spare arrows lying around, some quivers stuck about, this little table with some playing cards. There's a, a basket of rocks. Um, How big is the table? Goblin <laughs> playing card table sized, so quite small. Big enough to use as an improvised weapon. <laughs> Actually, if I move over here. So can I take, I'm forgetting, like, is it possible to, to move like five feet and not provoke opportunity or? Not from this guy behind you, no. That's the whole. These guys are all melee engaged. All right. Um, ba, 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 ba. Let's see here. This is going to go bad real quick. Mm hmm. If I smash the two goblins that are in front of me, can I then turn to face the other one so I'm not getting the back attack thing? Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'm going to try to smash them into the the brand new floor. Cast Mordenkainen's punching fist. Sorry <laughs> for big these smashing fists. Big fists. Give me yeah. a roll to work. Uh, roll to hit. 
Oh, wow. Uh, you okay. successfully pick up two goblins once more. Or are these punches? Or are these, like, head bashing? I'm just, like, trying to nail them into the ground. All right. You you definitely smash. One of them is a crit. The other is not a crit. Roll me some damage here. <laughs> well, they each get plus five, so they're a minimum of six damage. Yes. Yeah. So... One is a crit, even, so 2d8. Uh, I'm going to move you behind the goblins. Goblins have 1 HP and 5 HP, so they both just get crushed by you. <laughs> Actually, the one that was a crit... Give me another d8. The one HP one? <laughs> yes. So in another an additional 6 damage. Uh, no, you shouldn't get the plus 5 on that. It should just be the additional d8. So a total of 8 oh. damage to the 1 HP goblin who is uh, crushed so into just, like, bread pudding. Ladder everywhere like jelly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. All right, so covered in, in goblin jelly, I then turn to face this other one. Go, mm -hmm. you're about to stab me in the back. Now let's see how good your backstabbing happens to my front. <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> He's really not feeling that threat. Uh, <laughs> watched me squish to, like, literally turn one of his friends into jelly. Yeah, that, that's what I mean by he's not feeling that threat. I can see how that language might be confusing now. Uh, yeah. He's not excited by the prospects of stabbing <laughs> you to your front. He is your quaking in his... you in the front line. Are they your friends? Or do they want to see you die? All right. Next party <laughs> member. Um, I'll move. So. And I'll just tell her. I'll just... I'll just tell everyone there's four goblin, four goblins waiting down there. I'll I'll be going down. So oh, how okay. how far can I move, Neil? I uh, you can two. move a huge distance. You can move 120 yards, so you can move 360 feet, and each one of these squares is five feet. Can I go downstairs? You can. It's going to be a little awkward because you're a big burly minotaur, and can these I are ask? tiny oh, human God. staircases. Um. But you can come on down, squeezing, 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 until you arrive on the floor below you, uh, like sidestepping through the the stairwell uh, until you run into a bunch of goblins down at the base. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll be like a bit up the stairway, so only one can engage me at a time. Sure, so you'll be at the stairway like that. Oh, Neil. Yep. I forgot. Uh, that was the second round of melee. I get, I'm specialized, so I get another attack. Please make oh. your extra attack. What is this attack that you're making? Another punch. Wonderful. Uh, it's a kick or a punch at the goblin, and it's a miss. So he puts up his little wooden okay. shield just in time. Uh, any other players left to go? Do, do, this, is, this took my full movement well, or half no, movement? No, you that's... move down the stairs. It's awkward. You could still move up the stairs if you wanted to. Uh, that's up to I you. I'm ready an attack for if a goblin comes into me. Sure. That's up to you because I climbed up the rope and then moved here, and I don't know if I could move down an attack or you not. You can move down, but you'll find yourself that there's a, a minotaur in that stairwell. And you can't right. go down. So I just saw him go down there. I'll probably just go up then. Sure. You go up. Okay. You're Is up. Is there anyone here? I don't know. You have to look around. Okay. Now, there's no other way up, is there? Nope. Uh, yes, there is. Actually, there is a, a ladder right here. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just... I suppose I'll just ready in action to smack anyone that comes down ladder. Sure. Uh, is that the whole party? Yeah, I think so. All right, it is the goblins' turns. Um, now, Zunkin, you are standing awkwardly, like sideways in a staircase because you won't fit forward ways with your weapon out facing the goblins. What is your weapon That's of choice? I have my shield spell that is uh, going to cover the AC. Sure. What is your weapon of choice? Um. My headbutt. <laughs> no, <laughs> but that doesn't. That's not gonna really work, right? Because I don't I'm think like... you can sideways headbutt effectively, like a readied action sideways headbutt. I think that's not a little a tiny goblin. 
Mm. Especially not at a tiny goblin. Yeah, you're in a really tight, uncomfortable place here. You are not sized for this adventure. In All fact, right, many well, of you are not can, sized can for this adventure. <laughs> in that case, can I not be on top of the staircase because I, uh, realizing that I cannot fit really well. So you here. like squeeze down, see all these goblins, and then you just like scoot back up to the stairs above yeah. you. That's yep. fine. That's what, yeah. Okay. So and down... I say to the other star, there are four goblins downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's the exact same thing that the last guy that went down the stairs came back to say. <laughs> yep. um, this I goblin has hard. failed. He's going to disengage and back up and out. But these two with bows are going to face you and just pepper you with two arrows each trying to bring down the, the giants. Uh, a nine, a one, a 13, and an 11. They're all misses. And uh, the spearman will have to go get himself another spear, which he does, and then he comes <laughs> back and uh, he'll just stand here with his spear. That's fine. These guys are... They're gonna do that. Perfect, all right. Next round initiative, we're in a siege situation. Why don't we just have the players go and the monsters go? Just roll a d10. Uh, Jason, roll a d10. All right, you go first. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I um, go first, buddy? Sure, why don't you go first? Okay. Castle looks at the goblin. Stiletto net. Nah, not worth it. Kind of cleans it. Scribes a stiletto against the goblin's armor. Puts his back, picks up the goblin with his lizard arm, and just... Uh, goes over here and throws the goblin off the keep. The unconscious goblin. <laughs> you pick up the goblin, carry him to the edge, and drop him to his death. Roll me 3d6 damage. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> the goblin lands directly on his neck, snapping it, and uh, imploding his head into the ground. <laughs> wow. All right, that is your turn. Yeah, uh, I have to, because everybody else is standing in the way, you know. I wait until the game clears. Uh, who's next? <laughs> Someone declare that they're next. I'll go, and okay. I'm gonna go up that ladder. All right, you head up that ladder. If I can find your character, and Such onto a, a rooftop. Oh God! Wait, there's no one here. Nope. From the rooftop, you can walk around and see that it's empty. Oh god damn it. Okay, back down. I'll just go down the two flights of stairs, three flights of stairs, to where the action is apparently. So here, and then you go down another flight of stairs, and you find yourself there. Uh Move. Hi, <laughs> Hi bye. Alright, then you go walk right past there. him and the Minotaur and head down another set of stairs. There are four goblins down there, watch out. Uh, except <laughs> okay. there are two goblins there with ready to tax for anything that comes around into view. And so Lovely. they stab at you as you come into view with a natural one and a natural four. Okay, um, can I smack this goblin? Yes, or are you right to. or left-handed? Right-handed with a uh, morning star. But to be fair, I that's can fine. probably no, make overhead of tanks. Overhead uh, attacks. Well, yeah, no, but I'm you're so coming short. down a staircase and you're right-handed, so that's in your favor. If you were coming down and you were left-handed, you'd be screwed. But since you're right-handed, you're fine. Yeah, overhead, either way, I'm so sure I could probably do it. Sure, give me a roll to hit. Okay, finally. No. You miss. Good. Alrighty cool. then, I'll stay here. Uh, next party member. Yeah, so where uh, was the hole the ogre made? I'll you know? get... Um... Okay, I guess I'll go. It, what about the the roof? Is this like stone roof or? A, it? It's not stone. It is wood with uh, wooden shingles. Yeah. Like, it, does it look like? Can can I break it open so that I can make a hole? Yeah, probably. Uh, I mean, the ogre just jumped on it and broke it. You could try and jump up and down on it until it breaks. I don't want to like jump through it. I just want to. I want to find the hole where the. Oh, oh ogre yeah, there's totally. You can actually see the ogre still standing. Uh, his head is coming up right about here. Actually, given the slope of that roof, would I be sticking up out of the roof? Your head might be kind of popping 
you're, maybe the, the very top of your dome is in line with the slope a little bit. Well, it looks like the roof slopes upwards towards the keep, right? Yes. So wouldn't, as it starts to slope up, wouldn't it, even if it was the floor was only 10 feet, wouldn't it, my head be inside? It might be inside or at the level. It's, you're, you're on that border of the edge, but he can see you from standing on the roof and looking down. Do I, do, do I think I could throw a dart past Doreen or is that not possible? No, not around a staircase like that. It's a, that, a very tight case, spiral. In that case, I'm following with him. Yeah, I want to see if I can get a, uh, see a goblin from up here so that I can sling. Like I look around the hole. No. See if I can no. find an angle. There are just... no goblins that are in slinging viewpoint through I, that I, hole. I, I, use, I use the rope that we used earlier and use it to climb down. All right. You bring over the rope. Uh, you you can descend, but you're going to be landing on the ogre's shoulders, basically, because uh, the hole's not that big. So okay. you come squeezing in next to the ogre. The ogre's going to have to move to let you pass, really. I'm that... fine with that. Yeah, All right. We can, like, yeah. Cool. I'll do it, too. Sure. Uh, you also if I can find your token, come down and get past the ogre somehow and you find yourselves in a tiny room. Is there, where, where are the goblins? I, you, you're in this room, you can see what you can see. Okay, um, do I still have movement? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do I as well? Maybe, yeah, probably. Okay. Oh, there are goblins in there. Yep. Yeah, there we go. You squeezing pretty tightly to get in there, buddy. Yeah. Is not guys large? Yeah, I cannot. Like, it's it's weird, like how the viewing angles work because then I have to stand here. Yeah. To see through. Yep. I I couldn't see them like standing like this. Yep. It's messy. It comes from the very center of your token. Uh, so you got the two large, two of the three largest yeah. creatures of the party are squeezed into this tight space together. And this other person is trying to maneuver in and amongst you guys. And this is like really cramped quarters now, like super, super cramped quarters in here. You know what? I'm going to stand here and I'm going to ready my <laughs> stupid great sword. <laughs> <laughs> it is really not useful in the close quarters of inside of a castle. That's true. Uh, this was I actually think it's pretty much only net 20 or not possible. Yeah. Yeah, every, this this has gotten way out of hand. All right, is that the entire party that's gone? Yeah. I think so. Okay, the two goblins that are currently standing next to Doreen will stab at her with a 16 and a 3. Nope. Then they will back away. Uh, are you... Do you have opportunity attacks? Yeah. Are you a fighter? Yes, I'm you have exceptional cleric. strength. I, I'm a cleric. How do you have exceptional strength then? skills powers. Ah, cool yeah. uh so you get one opportunity attack of your choice okay i'm gonna do it with the bottom one because fuck that guy perfect he's a monster how dare he 17 hits smash his face in do i need to roll damage can you will you do at least four yes he does <laughs> what is uh, doing all this time the other two goblins will what? pop up and make attacks at you What'd you say, Rob? What's the sheriff doing all this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's not, he's not fighting with us, so... Uh, he's... No, he oh. is going and dealing with the issues in the village. He's going to try and get rid of any goblins that might be still taking up residence in the sheriff station or mm. any of those sorts of things. And to all be right. fair, I trust... He's an old man with a two-handed sword. I trust that guy to do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so these other two goblins come and make attacks at you and miss... The goblins with bows are going to shoot at the ogre because he's still more in front than the minotaur. Uh, 3, 9, 19, 19. So two more arrows hit the ogre, who I think Arr. goes down with five points of damage. Uh, the spear guy has a new spear and he throws it at the minotaur with a nine to hit. And then backs out to get new stuff. This goblin will go around the corner. Are you done? All right, I'm at negative one. Do I get sky, partial sky, cover man. since I am actually partially covered? They can sure. only see half of me? Yes, but they, uh... Oh, I see what you're saying. When they're shooting at you, 
they may only be able to see half of you, but you are taking up 100% of their viewing angle through that doorway. Like they're not gonna get a penalty to hit because you are so big that most of you's covered, right? Like if a dragon only has its head poking out from around a building and the head is the size of a normal person, you don't get penalties to hit the dragon because a building is covering the rest of his body. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, I'm down, I'm at negative one. All right. Um, that's everyone's actions. Next round, uh, Bastion, roll the d10 for the party, please. Yeah. All right. Here we go again. Yes, you go. Okay. The read. Yep, I'll go. No. Nope. Ooh, swing and a miss. Okay. I'll, I'll will... move here though. Okay. Ah, that will... leaves room for someone else to come down the stairs behind you. Yeah. I walk down the stairs. Okay. Um, and I see that in front of me. I just grin under my mask and cast Phantasmal Force. And a black mist spreads out like from my shadow up to the goblins and crawls mm. up to them in, in, into their eyes. To block their view and I'm into the comments, I hey, better run. Ooh. So a black mist flows out from you and begins to surround the goblins, and you say you scare them. Better Wonderful. Run. And especially in front of their faces and eyes, so they don't see anything. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, next party member. Yeah, I threw a dart, it, 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 just a 10, and then I backed it. It's a miss. <laughs> Minotaur? Yeah, I'm going to, can I uh, just pull the ogre out of range of the yes. goblins? And you I'm going to try to stabilize him. All right, give me an intelligence check. The world's smartest minotaur. Uh, just putting uh, the blood back in the body doesn't really <laughs> fix the problem, I think. Um, I, I might, make, some your, uh, might make it worse with dirty blood and all. <laughs> Yeah, it's not going so great for you. Uh, okay, the goblins turns, I suppose. So Doreen, that's three of them on you. Um, are they actually blind because of the Phantasma Force? Because it actually covers their faces. So you're you're not just saying mist, like you are creating magical darkness around them. Yeah, basically magical mist that covers their face and obscures their vision. Um, unless hmm. they disbelieve it, they see the illusion. It creates something they cannot see through. That's true. Illusions are a weird thing. Uh, but these goblins are literally trapped in a corner with no way out. Um, I mean, because they're attacking, so they would be actually blinded in that regard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering about magic and illusions, and if you are pinned in a corner and everything is dark. You get to say, you... I mean, they can yeah. that, like, something like a darkness spell. Like it's yeah. better than a darkness. Cool. Movie. So they just make their attacks uh, and they can't see Doreen. Uh, Doreen, you are also affected by the illusion spell. You are covered in um, darkness as well. I it's... mean, no, because I specified the illusion to cover the goblins. I can, it is what I create. It, I can right, specify. so if it covers, like she can't see them and they can't see her. Yeah, basically. basically cool, but... so she can't see the attacks coming. So the penalty of four that they get to hit is offset by her penalty of four because she can't see it coming and it's a Actually, wash. I can, they can, you can see the spears. I I specified the face of the goblin, Neil. So I what you're saying see... is you've got like little bit magical mist that's just covering the goblin face. So if the goblins move to the side, all of a sudden they're out of the mist or they're covered in a thick mist okay. that they can't move out of, right? Like it can't be perfect goblin blinding mist, yeah, that's true. you know? <laughs> it's not like a superior version of a blind spell. Mm. So could if they can't see, she can't see, yeah. basically. But maybe create, uh, what is visual cover in that regard? Is that the thing? If, yeah, penalty of four, but if, like if she can't see, yeah. Yeah. it's a wash. Yeah. It's gonna wash out. Stroll, yeah. stroll. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Calm, Nick, calm. Uh, three, six, and eight are the attacks against you. Wonderful. Um. <laughs> And I guess we're gonna do a little bit of this and a little bit of this, and we will go to the next round. Hold on, last attack. Last attack? Attack at the end of the round. 
So that's, that's normal attack. 11's a miss. Okay. Uh, oh, initiative. Good. Nick, roll the D10. Uh, no, Max, roll the D10. Hey. Ooh, can't beat a one, though. Yeah, I think I'll beat that. Yeah. Could roll a one. That's true. You, we could all go at the exact same time. All attacks resolve. Beautiful. The three goblins strike at Doreen with a 17 with one of them? Nope. All right, then they miss, you miss, uh, and you step out down there, Sylvan, mm -hmm. and those two have readied attacks to shoot at you as soon as you do so. Mm -hmm. uh, but a nine and a five are misses, and your four is a miss. And Zunkin, what do you do? I take out my sling and sling from over here. Go ahead, giant minotaur uh, sling. <laughs> yep. Uh, sling. Slings go roundy, roundy, or um, they go in a, uh, a horizontal like, circle, not a vertical circle, right? Depends what you. Can you use uh, a sling indoors? Is what I'm trying to ask. Yes, you can do this or this. If, if, like oh. I was thinking, like this would be enough space for it, like not in the hallway over here, but out in this room. You could, like swing it next to him and then throw it over head, kind of like. You can both. You probably just swing it and then try to smack him with it. Like, swing swing it like like around here and then throw it like that. I don't know. Like I feel like head. sling, like the the big problem with slings is that they require a lot of room to use. Like like if you look at that drawing, like swinging it around in a circle and then there's enough room for this. I mean, like you swing it around the circle, but you have to come straight with it. So you could maybe left hand it that way. I don't know. I feel like you need some sort of major penalties for using a sling indoors because it's a weapon that requires a lot of space. Um, so just make your attack rolls at like minus four or something, because it's a, it is not meant to be used indoors. People moved on to volley, uh, blocks so of if, archers if, instead if of slingers for a reason. With my headbutt, it would be the same penalty. Yeah, I think maybe a charge with a headbutt at minus two would be fair. And then I'll do that instead. Okay, that'll work. You can run down the hallway towards this goblin. Okay. That Watch will one. gore the oh. crap out of him. <laughs> uh, clear by five. Clear it does clear by five, yes. Okay, so Ooh, four and he's got one HP already, <laughs> so oh, doesn't matter. You know what? Make me another attack roll at the goblin behind him, because you you bring him to negative ten. I think you just charge through him <laughs> into the goblin behind him. Okay, still at negative two or Yeah, yeah. Just continuing the attack. Okay. All right, so you gore one and kind of knock the other backwards a little bit, and you clear out into this space. Oh, uh, there are more of them here. There are like five of them. I see. Yep. Uh, and oh, since right. everything is going simultaneously, now that you've walked into this space, these two will hit you from the side with a 15 and a 7. Uh, actually, that makes uh, a 16 and an 8. Okay, then the 16 hits with melee weapons with my shield. Four to, uh, damage. Okay. Those ones have already gone over there. This one will turn here and throw his last spear at you with a natural 20, modified 21. That should clear by five. Who, me? Yeah, you. I have 18 against uh, Hurled Missile. Oh, so, so just a hit it's against not, you. It's a normal hit. You take two points of damage from the spear. Okay. And uh, we go to next round initiative. I, and, no? I, I'm, I didn't go. Please go. Uh, as the attacks go, I will now pull back the shadows and the illusion and coalesce it around me, giving my form like enlarging with shadow and magic and pulling the stiletto, which looks like a... that is larger with the illusion around it, like a short sword. Looks like it. Looming over them. Okay. So it's just a, a short sword that hovers above them? No, no, no. Uh, myself, the shadows from them, I pull towards and enlarge my form, basically enhance it with shadow and pull my stiletto out. But due to the, sh the shadows around me, it looks like a short sword. Okay. Uh, like a shadowy cool. short sword. It's all illusion, no reason. Right, right. Uh, let's <laughs> do initiative. Nick. Oh, we're going to hurry this combat up, guys. Uh, party goes first. 
Okay, uh, I, I try to destroy the one in front of me. Go for it. I think the, the ogre is still bleeding to death. Uh, yep. Sildin, 18 is not a stabilize. Sunken Rushba, an 11 is not a hit. Doreen, 12 is a miss. <sighs> Can I attack the one that is like there? I don't know what there, no. Okay. There's too much of a wall. Yeah, Doreen's the only one that can attack from this spot. Uh, let's return, let's change things. The goblin with the bow switches out for a dagger. It makes a stab at the minotaur with a four. The two yes. swordsmen stab at the minotaur with a se uh, two 17s, actually. Oh God. For four damage each. So that's eight total. Oh, wow. I'm down. Oh my God. That's Are you guys exactly gonna wipe? Zero. Is this gonna be the end of it? It puts me exactly at zero. Okay. Uh, Doreen, yeah. there's three of them surrounding you. An eight, a 19, and a two. Does the 19 have any bonuses? No, it's just a 19. No. You have 20 AC? Yep. Splint Jesus. shield, one from Dex. All right. Um, uh, this second attack. one is going to come into here and take a shot past Doreen at the guy on the staircase who's got cover from the staircase and Doreen, and a seven is a miss. Mm. Um, and then this guy is gonna come here to here. This guy's gonna come here to here, and they will both move at you with a 16 and a 10. Uh, one hit. Not much. That's six points of damage from a spear in the gut. Oh my god, the party is going to wipe to goblins. The goblin fortress is going to stand. <laughs> well, you're a bunch of level one uh, party members. I know. So I, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, second attack, Doreen. You can, the two of you can still pull this off. That's oh, a hit. That's a kill. That's a kill. The goblin drops to the ground. All right, initiative, Rob, roll it. Uh, those of you that are below zero, please make sure you mark off one... HP uh, every round until you get to negative 10 and then you're dead. Uh, the goblins go again. Let's see, the one with the bow will shoot once behind Doreen Actually, for a 15. Uh, yeah. Nope. Uh, nope. If the cover two in front will stab at Doreen with a 14 as a miss and a natural 20 is a hit there with the go. short sword for two points of damage. Okay. Um... This one will come over here and slash at Doreen with a 15. Um, um, <laughs> I'm not really sure what goblins would do in a siege situation. This one's gonna go look out the window. This one's gonna look out that window. <laughs> We're just gonna check, make sure that there's no other enemies nearby. Looks clear. The goblins are all shouting, all clear outside. It's just the two over here. We'll get them. <laughs> uh, for some reason, they sound like Mickey Mouse. And it is your turn, Doreen. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, I'm killing the one below me. He's dead. Move here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you can fill in. Uh, what about concentration? The spell says concentration only upon receiving damage or... Oh, no, uh, moving. So, yeah, the spell is gone. Okay. Oof, gone. You move to that spot. 13? Uh, no, the one in front of you has AC 15. Ah. Didn't say which one he Boiled. I know. But everyone just usually attacks the person directly in front of them. And if he... It's fine. Uh, that's everybody's turn. Um, Bowman gets second shot, actually, against Karasu, which is a 12, which is a miss, and let's back to Jason. D10 for initiative. Oh. Whoops. Oh, I, I thought. Uh, the goblins go first. This one will appear behind Doreen, a, a plus two to hit, a seven's a miss. The bowman will step over here for a clean shot at Doreen, which is an eight. The spearman attacks Doreen with a two. The swordman attacks... Karasu with a 17. Hits. Karasu will take four points of damage. Okay. Um, 
Let's see, this spearman will come over here, this archer will do that, and this guy will do that. Uh, maybe this will move out of the way, and the, uh, no, Doreen, you're the goblin size, so he definitely can't shoot through this opening at you with the goblin in the way. Yeah. Well, they, they would have had to move, would they have been able to get that far? Yeah, definitely, it's only 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. 60 feet, they can move that, but it's fine. No more attacks. Uh, party's turn. Yeah. All right, I get two. 20's a hit I'll and a kill. I'll take this, yep. Uh, Karasu. One in front of me, that's a 16. 16 will hit. Two points of damage. He lives. <laughs> okay. GG, are you bleeding to death, Zunkin? No, I'm at zero, but... Oh, he, he won't. <laughs> exactly. He's just lying on the ground. Uh, okay. Um, Initiative... Bastion! Six. Come on. Ooh, same, same time. time. Oh, I'm sorry, the, this archer goblin got a second shot off at the end of the round, which uh, was a miss. He moved. he moved. He moved five feet. I, yeah, we usually I allow people to take two shots I, if they move five when feet. When I moved one time five feet, you said no, no second attack for you. Well, whatever, know. fine. He doesn't take the attack then, it's fine. Uh, anyway, so. this goblin will take its first shot at Karasu okay. with a five. The nope. stabby will stab at you with a seven. The stabby nope. behind the short person, who's not quite a dwarf, will stab with a 15. Nope. No, not even no with no. Uh, you have no shield and no dex bonuses. But this no. no, no it's fine. I've got splint. So yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, that hits and kills then. Uh, yep. The one behind me. The one behind you. Whoops. Okay. Uh, Karasu it's... hits, and I assume you're killing him as well. He had four. Oh god, he had four HP. I gotta find him. There we go. Three one behind me, Neil. Yep, the one behind you dies, which is great because now the archer can shoot at you. I guess it's not behind you anymore. It's now in front of you, which is a miss. And the spearman will step and throw a spear, which is a 14. And no, actually, he ran out of spears. He will pick up a short sword from somewhere else and a shield and spend the round putting a shield on. Okay. And this other guy will come here and fill and attack with a five. Uh, right. Rob, are you dead? Have you bled out to zero? No, I was only down at negative one to begin with, okay. so it's a long slog. Sure. Door. Jason, are you dead yet? Uh, well, I've got a, I've got a few turns. Okay. A few rounds. All right. Sure, Initiative, Rob, Nick, Nick, Max. Someone roll initiative. I think it's Max's turn. <laughs> It's okay. definitely Max's uh, turn. Yeah, Max. Yeah. Go first. Okay, I step the one in front of me. Quickly. No. No, you don't. Doreen misses as well. No. The one in front of 14? 15 AC. Wait. What? It's a leather armor Wait. with a shield. Okay. Yep. Um. Oh, uh, this guy does get his second attack at the end of last round, which is a seven. Uh, goblins go stabby stabby. 19 against Karasu. That's not a crit, it's... is it? No. Okay, it's just five points of damage. I'm the done. bowman will shoot at the one from behind, at Doreen for 14. The one in front of Doreen will stab at her for a 16. Um, nobody else can do anything, and the archer gets a second attack at the end of the round, which is a 20. All right. Uh, for a total of two points of damage. Does Doreen get extra attacks? Yeah. I've she, been getting them. Yeah. Uh, okay. Seems Nick's luck. turn for initiative. Good luck. Uh. <laughs> oh, you spooked me. Hey. Hi. Uh, right. Goblins go first. Attack with the missile is yep. a natural 20 from behind, a modified 22. Uh, that doesn't clear by five, though, no. does it? No. 17? Oh. No, yeah. you have one from Dex. And... One from Dex, three from Shield, so yeah, it does. Yes! Oh, I think you're done. You take two points of damage from a yeah. critical goblin shot from behind. <laughs> the... Is that like a yes, I'm gonna kill the party. <laughs> the stab from in front is only a 15, 
which is a miss, and the goblin regrets his decision immediately and uh, proceeds to do nothing. He's done. Uh, the other oh, one from behind you... Oh, the other stab you already stabbed you from behind a mist, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So It's your turn, Doreen. All right. Well, I'm just going to take the attack of opportunity from this guy, right? 16, 17, 18 to hit from behind. No, just I'm already facing the guy. Like, I, I just you were... sidestep here. Okay. Uh, well, 16 to hit then. No. Turn there and uh, start actually don't have any back attack hit. kill that one dead uh, <laughs> and uh, now that I'm not in melee if mm -hmm. possible I'm just going to move up to the other level sure you can move up to the stairs above you <laughs> you've escaped Doreen um, and it's initiative Rob Okay, the goblins go first, and uh, this is what we do. They drag this body away, and they do this, this, and this guy now has a sword and a shield instead of a spear, but we'll just, it'll be fine. Neil? Yep. Was there a hatch on the top of this roof? Uh, yes, you got all the way to the very, very top of the roof. Right. Once upon uh, time. Check you know, that. Nick, the stairway is specifically designed to favor the person on top of the stairway and to only be able to have to fight one person at a time. Yep. That's why I backed up. Uh, so the goblins are done. It's your turn. What are you doing? <laughs> all right. Well, no one comes into melee. No Here one comes one up. with the worsen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and up. probably just back up more. Uh, where would like you like? To so you're going me. upstairs farther? Just to the top. Uh, not the like ladder top, but the stairs top. All right. The top room. You head up to the top room. All right. Uh, let's roll initiative. Actually, we don't need to because they are already in position with held actions. So you can just keep taking your turns. Okay, well, I have exactly four or uh, five more orsons left. So if they don't do anything for five minutes, full. Okay, everyone well, that is we're at gonna, uh, we're going to bleed out. But in that case, yeah, yeah. I know that everyone that is below zero, please take five bleeding damage. I think you all die. Nope. Except for you, are you you're at negative still? I'm you're at minus eight. Okay. I'm exactly zero, so I don't bleed. Yeah. <laughs> oh doing, god. So. <laughs> what happened in this battle? This went wrong. Um, uh, so, I guess I go down a level. Sure. You head get ready to attack. Oh, why did it not move you? There you go. All right, so they're not here. Nope. Lovely. Look, at, be over here then. Okay, you go down. Uh, mm, not this round. Okay. Next Sorry, round, guys. But you're bleeding out. I don't have horse in anyone now. I mean, I would. I thought you would just run. So. Well, we'll see. What I'll, would you uh, Yeah, I'll you go down. All right, you head on down. Yep. Uh, and there are all sorts of people. The goblins have two readied shots at you as you step down with a two and a 20 and two readied stabs with a two and a 19. Huh, interesting numbers there. Uh, the 20 is a hit, but not a crit with one point of damage and the others are all misses and there you are. All right, I'll attack. 13 is a miss. Uh, no, he picked up a sword and shield. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Want to just, like, push past them and try to get nope. uh, raise us so you have allies? No. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, anyway. guys. 
Uh, your excuse you, Neil. I'm going to be in the stairs to use the stairs to my advantage. Sure. As cover uh, from like this guy. Let's roll initiative. It's just you and me, Nick. Yep. All right. All of us are dead, or at least unconscious. All right. Uh, two shots from the archers, 13 and 16. The one swordsman will come at you with a 10. And that's that. This, uh, all right. Seven and nope. eight are misses. The extra shots are misses as well. Three the initiative. initiative. Uh, that's not the right die roll. <laughs> there you, you go. You go one. first. Nope. Pain is a miss. The archers miss. The swordsmen, 17. You have 20 AC, right? Yep. Okay. The other swordsmen will... Can do this and this. Actually, you can't move this round. This is fine. Um, that's the end of that round. Uh, for the god. Actually, it's your. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get a second attack. Yeah. Initiative. All right. So this guy will. How do we want this? This one will step back here. He will withdraw, mm -hmm. and this one will withdraw. Uh, and they will... No, they'll withdraw like this, yeah. Uh, and the archers will take shots at you, which are both misses. All right. So... Well, and I guess I'll step forward. Okay. Uh, make your attack. Miss. And we go to next round initiative. Actually, wait. I didn't get two attacks last round, so oh. two attacks last round. Probably you get one for the archers as well. Yes, they should get their final tax. That's a hit. He has six HP. I have plus six to damage. All right, he's dead then. Uh, the goblins go. They get their shots. A three and a nine. And the swordsman steps up with a 17. Yep. And it's your turn. <laughs> well, I'll check Do we just want to go back and forth? Yeah, just take your miss right. and the two other shots, 15 and 9, and... How many arrows do they have? They, they're in a tower. They've got... They have more than enough arrows. This is like prime defensive territory. They're like again. stashes of quivers everywhere. Uh, identical... Everywhere. Uh, 16, 3, and 18 are all misses. The 18 will hit and kill a... Yeah, you have 5 HP. Hit and kill. You'll move adjacent. They will lose their set last attack, pull out their daggers, and we will melee next round. Oh, didn't mean to move there. I was That's trying to fine. go up because I'm just hanging up. Yeah. They so. stab at you with daggers for an 18 and a 13. Uh, I guess that's probably a like a 14 and an 18 because they spread out to get flanks. Uh, so. Miss second attack. Miss. Right. Go for it. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. They miss. <laughs> we need to hurry this combat. We show was supposed to end 40 minutes ago. I'm sorry, everyone, that we're keeping you so much longer. Uh, 16 is a hit and a hit. They're dead. End All right. Round. Cool. All right. Uh, so it sounds like Zonkin Rushbutt is the only person even remotely alive. Yeah, so I go down, right? Mm-hmm. Or anymore. wherever the Minotaur is. Mm-hmm. You find him. And he's, in he's, not, he's the only one not bleeding out. Right, the Minotaur is unconscious on the ground. All of your other friends have been murdered. Oh, Jesus. All right, I'm sorry. I'm going down again. Sure. Trying to make sure there's no other goblins. There are no other goblins. All right, I open up the tower. Yep. For uh, the knight to come in or anyone. Yep. You open up the tower. There's no one outside. It's a peaceful, lovely day. Right. Wind up. Uh, yeah. If the, if it was longer, I would actually do stuff and be able to do this. But apparently, time restraints. We have to just stop. The Lord. But. Uh, you know what yeah. he it's I, yeah 
Unless the Lord is in this tower and I can kill him. He is not in this tower uh, at this point in time. You cannot kill him right now. All right, I'm going to go see if the night, uh, the sheriff has started a rebellion against him and tell him that everyone in the tower is dead. Cool. You find the sheriff. He is uh, currently mounting a, a very large goblin head on a spike in the, the right. center of town where he was about to be executed. The people yep. are uh, happy and they're passing out uh, all sorts of sweet breads with more than three grams of sugar per slice <laughs> and uh, having mm -hmm. a great time. They see you coming, uh, the most normal of all, well, maybe not the most normal looking, because now your outer cloak is all tattered and like fingers are sticking through all the holes where arrows hit and sword slashes. And um, the sheriff tells you that his lordship escaped, unfortunately, uh, but he's been <sighs> run out of town. He's effectively lost his power base. Uh, he lives but he's been run off. All right. I don't know if that'll count, but I'll basically just get an in, wait for tomorrow, heal the Minotaur, and then just... the castle? No! Get an in, wait for the... Like, get my healing back, get you up, because I can't carry you. I get I've got strength, but not Minotaur. Well, uh... Moving strength. And then just, like, head back, probably. Our three other heroes are buried in the church in Springfield, in the, the little <laughs> cemetery back there, with little placards above them saying, uh, this brave hero, whose name is unknown, died protecting us from corrupt rulers. Uh, we shall forever I just imagine... look fondly upon mongrel men and I, ogres. I just imagine... That think they're they small also... people. <laughs> and the Russell's thing... Also, if you dig up this body, don't look at the spell book. It's fucking creepy. Yeah. That's a huge, that's a huge grave for the ogre. <laughs> it's a very big grave. It took a long yeah. time to dig. It was very but, but, difficult. Did you loot our bodies? Just asking. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. And I will send you the amount of money I had on me. Wonderful. All right. Um, do, you, do you have a spell book? I also had a spell book, yeah. yeah I want to take your spell book. Oh, okay. You have sort of succeeded in your task, but... You didn't kill him. He still got away. So you'll get half the reward. Uh, and you only... Well, you don't have to split with anyone if you don't want. Because you're... No, because the Minotaur will be conscious the by the Minotaur's time you get back. The Minotaur's alive. Yeah. I'm yeah. splitting it with him. All right. You each get five... Or you get 500 gold total. Uh, and let's figure out experience here. <laughs> okay. You're only interested... Uh, is there anything else you're interested in besides the spell book and the money? Um... You each take home 550 experience. Okay. okay. All right. That's uh, 605. Yeah. You can at least sell the spell book for a ridiculous amount of money. <laughs> no, no, I, I not, want to. I'm not worried Put about it. I level up. Woo! Congratulations on surviving today's surprisingly lethal episode of Shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. Fair, there was a lot of bad rolls. There were some very good enemy rolls and some bad rolls for you guys. There were and... a lot of good enemy rolls at the start, and then Neil just started rolling like in the single digits constantly, yeah. which I appreciate. Well, I, you know, I don't choose what the dice tell me. They just tell me right. things, and I, I follow through with them. Um... Okay, so I level up 10 HP extra. Fan diddly tastic. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. uh, congratulations to our surviving players. And um, um, can, this is everything that you. Anyone okay, else I'll... have anything worth looting uh, or probably not? Hi, wait, you have wild magic spells. Are you a wild wizard? No, but it is in the list you can take. It is under evocation. Uh, yeah, you can't take... Only wild wizards can take wild wizard oh, okay, spells. Okay. Yeah. That's a separate never... restriction. Doesn't matter. Never came up. Totally fine. <laughs> Don't even yeah. worry about it. Uh, congratulations. I'm just taking the money for myself from these guys, so... You don't share this money with... I share the, like, with, sunken. with the Zunken, but, Aww. you know. All right. Give me... 
Well, we will be back next week with more shenanigans. And in like an hour and 15 minutes, we have uh, Heroes Graveyard on twitch.tv slash D&D. And tomorrow we will have Frozen Frontier. So it's going to be a very jam-packed uh, week with more D&D. We're going to head yeah. out right now because I have to prep and I normally have two hours. And That's the wrong button. Thanks for playing, everybody. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. bye bye. Bye. Well, I actually have to run right now. I, I would normally stay and chat with you.